what is it like in Denver? Well, I'm here to answer that for you. Listen. Welcome to Denver. That's the light rail right there. Um, it's a service provided by the city. It's kind of like the subway in New York, you can compare it to, but it's, um, it's not underground. What is there to do in Denver? We're gonna answer that for you tonight. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. The people are wonderful and friendly. And coming from New York, believe you me, uh, it can be a little challenging to be as friendly as some of the folks in Denver. <laughs> <laughs> the altitude makes me stick every time I come here. But it is beautiful. I love all the shops and all the art, and it's awesome to come up here. So we are in the Brown Palace right now. This place is really nice. I start to get really nervous when I'm in here. There's a free mall ride that takes you through the 16th Street Mall so you don't even have to walk. Yeah, we just got here. From New Jersey via Colorado Springs. Jersey? What are you doing in Denver? Cleaner. People are really nice here. Yes, yeah, cleaner, less congested. More Beautiful healthy city. lifestyle. While at the chocolate factory, I met this really, really nice lady. I'm from Egypt. In Egypt, we have the pyramids. In Colorado, we have the mountains, so. In Cairo, it's more city. In Alexandria, it's, I mean, it's city, but there's like the beach. I'm going to Egypt. Don't get sucked into the whole touristic thing and they take you to all those old places. Do that during the day, but at, like live the actual Egyptians living today, but like, it's really fun. All right, so now we're gonna go to the Performing Arts Center. So this right here is the statue. Those naked aliens costed $1.5 million to construct. And I don't know what it represents, I don't know what it's about. Speaking of crazy statues, at the Colorado Convention Center, you can find the blue bear looking into the window. You wanna know how to have a good time? Come down to Lolly Cup. It's like a coffee and tea shop that sells boba. Boba? It's so like it's this like little a black ball. Tapioca ball. Yeah, it's just a soft little ball. It's flavorless. Drinks, and it's really you just good. chew it. It's just there for texture, really. Every time I go there, they put like a massive amount of boba in my <gasps> drink. And I'm like, excuse me, could I just have half the boba? Huh? But then I drink it and it's still overwhelming. A few. A few, please. Just a few so that I'm not overwhelmed with little balls in my throat. Thank you. Thank you. Two small raw Thank you. I think Cup's all about the atmosphere and the people are all really, really good. It's basically just regular tea, coffee. Smoothies. It's a nice place for me to go and just sit down with my computer and type away. Look kind of like little frog eyes, and that's Boba. It's a nice place for me to go. On our way back from the 16th Street Mall, we ran into Bubba Go. All right, bubble gum, home of the dynamite shrimp, key lime pie, baby ripe ribs. I'll have one mile high. What kind of shrimp we got? Oh man, we got all kinds of shrimp. We got boiled shrimp, broiled shrimp, shrimp on the glass, shrimp with key lime. We got all. It's just it goes on and on and on. Uh, think of a shrimp. Think of a shrimp. Think of a shrimp. Uh, jumbo. Got yeah, it. we got jumbo shrimp. I'm special. Say, can you think of any fresh other from shrimp? the sea. Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, we have our fresh cash flowing in yeah. twice a day every day. All right, Teen Travel Talkers, thank you guys. To find out more about great places to go, go to teentraveltalk.com. To continue this conversation, please leave a comment below.